Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the aftermatch reaction from Shelburne nil. Waterford won John Martin with the goal. It was really a game of two halves. Waterford were the better team in the first half, Shelburne were the better team in the second half. And Waterford really looked a sharper team from the get-go. Um, you know, creating all the problems for Shelburne's defence and just first to every ball. Uh, Shelburne looked leggy in the first half and Aaron Dobbs for large parts of the first half as well was very isolated and Chelsea could really, couldn't really get out of their half. It was all kind of Waterford on the attack, on the uh, ascendancy the whole time. Shelburne never really got, done that much and if you're looking at the you know, the, the set pieces which Shells are normally really good at, Lorca Fitzgerald and that, just the deliveries, Carl Shepard as well, the deliveries just weren't weren't as good as they normally are and, um, you know, eventually uh, Waterford's attack paid off, Tyreek Wilson with a ball across, uh, Sobo Wale, I think you say his name is, um, headed back across goal and John Martin was there to tap home uh, from two yards out, he couldn't miss and from then on, you know, Waterford didn't really, they seemed to be happy enough to be a goal up and let Shells attack them and that seemed to be the case in the second half then. Ryan Brennan came on for uh, Chetner or Setner, whatever we want to pronounce it, but he came on then for him and, and then Shells started getting a foothold of the game and started getting, knocking the ball around, but ultimately they just, they just weren't creating enough chances and didn't get the ball into, you know, good enough places into the box and Robbie McCourt and Sam Bowen at the back for Waterford were just cleaning everything up and to be fair to Waterford defensively they were really really sound they defended everything that came in from Shell's point of view Jay's Cabana had just say Jay's Cabia had um, a poor performance by his standards usually he's one of the Shell's best players and a match winner more often than not but today he had a he had a poor game and Tyreek Wilson was more than a match for him on the on the right hand side. So, uh, the Shells will be looking to bounce back now on Tuesday night against Finn Harps. But uh, as I was met, talking to John Sheridan there, he seems quite happy. Um, he's got players coming back from quarantine over the next couple of days. So Waterford will be looking to kick on from here. And from what evidence today, they look like they're going to be a really good side. They've a really good goalkeeper in Murphy there. You've got. Um, a solid back four then as well with Wilson, Subawale at right full as well as Robbie McCourt and Sam Bone. So all in all it was a fair victory I would probably say for Waterford. Chelsea could have maybe edge the draw um, but never really looked like scoring so you have to say fair play to Waterford in that sense. And Chelsea will be looking to kick on now on Tuesday night as well as Waterford will be looking now to kick on too. Um, if you haven't already make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel don't forget to drop a like on the video and as well if you want to watch any of these games make sure you get on to watch LOI you can pay the fiver for the one game or get the seasons pass but uh, make sure you check it out I think it's well worth it I think the, the standards only going to get better now uh, as time goes on because obviously the fitness is going to come back and stuff like that today obviously it was a bit weird without the fans and stuff like that but uh, look Live football's back, the League of Ireland's back, so that's the main thing. So don't forget to drop a like on the video and I'll speak to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.